Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel All About VLSE. In this video, we are going to start with the coding of RAM interface. So in our previous video, we have seen the test bench structure of your system bedlock and we have discussed every component briefly. Now we are going to start the development of each and every component. So before starting the development, first we will try to develop the system bedlock code for our interface ram interface okay now so let me zoom in first yes so i'm going to create my interface file using the keyword interface and i'm going to give some name to this interface ram underscore interface and this interface is expecting a argument which is known as clock okay next so after that I'm going to declare the signals of my RAM as logic. So logic reset n is my reset signal, active low reset signal and logic read underscore enable is one of the signal and logic write underscore enable. So this is read enable signal and write enable signal. So if you see the RAM, you have two different signals for writing and reading. One is read enable and write enable and another is logic three down to zero write underscore address so for my design for my ram design my write address width is four bits that is total there are uh, two power four 16 locations i have and another is logic three down to zero read underscore address so the read address is also uh, four bits width followed by logic 31 down to zero data underscore in okay so my each location can consist of 32 bits of data okay so according to my design i am writing my interface file and logic 31 down to 0 data underscore out so if you don't know what is meant by interface okay so please uh, go back and please watch our playlist on system wedlock there you can find about interface so what is meant by interface why this interface is used everything you can watch it there okay and in this interface for my four components that is write driver read driver write monitor read monitor i have uh, i will i'm going to declare four clocking blocks okay so one is for write driver one is for read driver and another is for write monitor and read monitor so one is for write driver clocking write underscore driver underscore cv at the rate uh, passage of uh, clock okay write driver underscore passage of clock and I'm going to give the default skew. Default, uh, uh, I'm going to give the input skew as one and the output skew as two. Okay, I'm giving them. So about the inter, uh, clocking block also, we have discussed it in detail in our playlist. If you haven't watched that, please go and watch them. Now, so for this write driver, my write address is my output. So with respect to the write driver, the direction of write address is output with respect to write driver my write address is output and with respect to write driver my data is also output so data in is also output and the direction is out with respect to write driver okay and write enable is also uh, the direction is out okay so i am declaring them and followed by n clocking so this is my clocking block for write driver Similarly, I'm going to develop the clocking block for my read driver. So simple clocking read underscore driver underscore clocking block at the rate of passage of clock. Default skew I'm going to give default input in, input skew and output skew. Okay, depending upon your design, you can give your input skew and output skew. Okay, um, and followed by for the read driver, your output signals are read address, read underscore address, and output read underscore enable. Okay. So if you observe the driver, driver is only going to provide you the this signals, address signal and data signal. The write driver is going to provide the design, write address, write enable, and data. Enable. And the read driver is going to provide the design, the read address and read enable. That's why 
for this particular drivers the clocking block in the clocking block we are giving this particular directions you can see that particular diagram of your uh, testman structure okay which we have discussed in our previous session so in that particular uh, testman diagram you can see the driver is going to provide you the signals so that's why we have given output the direction as output okay next uh, we will write the clocking block for our right monitor right underscore monitor underscore cb at the rate passage of clock okay default input hash one and uh, output uh, we will view hash two okay and uh, i'm maintaining the skew for every uh, same skew for every component okay and for right monitor your signals right address data in right enabler inputs okay right monitor is going to monitor the signals which were given by the right driver okay which were output to your right driver these signals will be input to your right driver okay input right underscore address and input data underscore in and input right underscore enable so these are your inputs to your right monitor followed by in clocking and clocking read underscore monitor at the rate read underscore monitor and underscore cv at the rate passage of clock default input hash one output hash two and for your read monitor the read mon for the read monitor whatever the signals which are being driven by your read driver those are the inputs to your read monitor so i'm going to write input read underscore address and uh, input read underscore enable are your input signals and uh, the data which is being given by your design is also input to your read monitor okay input data underscore out which is the output of your design and it is input to your read monitor read monitor is going to monitor your data which is being given by your uh, design okay and now we are going to declare mod ports right underscore driver underscore mod port clocking right driver underscore cb so in the mod port we will declare the clocking blocks okay and mod port read underscore driver underscore mod port clocking read driver underscore clocking block and mod port write monitor mp clocking write underscore monitor underscore clocking block okay and uh, mod port read monitor underscore mod port clocking read monitor underscore c so these are my mod ports for my design and that's it i'm ending this interface file so this is your interface file so simple interface file we have declared all the signals which are just which are associated with our ram and we have declared the clocking blocks for all our different uh, components right driver right monitor read driver read monitor because these are only going to drive and monitor the signals right so that's why we have declared the clocking blocks and we have included them in the mod ports that's it so this is your simple design of your interface file okay yes so that's all for this session so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about vlsa so if you have any doubts or queries you can simply ping me in the comment box okay Thank you.